Hello, everyone. It's me, Tamron, here at 222 on Tuesday, February the 20th. I am super excited. Again, every week, there's just, you know, there's so much happening on the planet right now. And people that follow me regularly, they're like, I know, I'm feeling it too. So, you know, connecting with you guys every Tuesday is a way for me to just keep sharing what's happening in my in my business life. Sometimes it reflects what's happening in my personal life. It's a way for me to connect with people who are in my membership group who look forward to this and for people to share some of these videos that um, are now being put up regularly each week on YouTube under my channel called Tamron's Place. So please check that out and subscribe if you like and keep following me and sharing some of my stories because each week is really a glimpse into what it is I'm going through or what other people around me seem to be going through that I feel like, you know, it's the same message or the same energy, even astrologically, what's happening on the planet. So um, with today's reading, I just want to, as you guys can see, I'm back at home in um, Northern Ontario and super excited because um, this past week I was traveling in Southern Ontario. That's where I made my video. Um, and then I was off and now I'm back. It was so exhausting. It gave me a glimpse into uh, how my life is going to be for, you know, traveling, me wanting to do some of these readings and be traveling, connecting with people. But it also gave me a deep understanding of what it is that I need for me in order to show up for a lot of people um, in my business as well. So you're going to see that same thing in um, this little video today. And really, it's about having a deeper understanding of who you are and how we're showing up in the world as entrepreneurs. Because, you know, if many people know me, my life has gone up and down and uh, I've come across some huge nuggets in my life in the last two years. And I just love to keep sharing all of the stuff with you guys so that, um, you know, you don't go through the extremes in your business that I went through. Again, my name is Tamron. I consider myself an inspirational storytelling business mentor. And I love to keep sharing my challenges with the entrepreneurs that follow me because I love to offer tools and techniques that are very holistic and spiritual. And these are, you know, the recipes or the medicine, as you want to call it, as to how to rebalance if you are going through the same thing, because this is how I live. It's not about being perfect. It's about having these tools in our toolboxes so that we can function and manage the energy of these chaotic times here on the planet. Because when we can manage the shifts and the energies that much better, you're not going to feel so whacked about what's going on everywhere. All right, because I tend to attract a lot of entrepreneurs who are very empathic and they're not really using their tools, these holistic tools, to balance themselves. Okay, so again, uh, stay tuned till the very end and I'm going to share a little mini challenge if anybody wants to join me and uh, I'll give you some info about how you can become a member for my Tamron's Place membership, which is for entrepreneurs. Okay, so here is the reading today. We're getting advice from spirit again. So how how do you build like this deeper sense of trust when you're making really important business decisions? And I don't mean just little decisions. I'm talking something big where, you know, it's like, wow, that is actually a huge question because sometimes it's not just a little question. There's a deeper meaning to it. And you feel that, okay? So in the reading today, we're gonna get guidance from spirit on how we can do this. But again, I love to share some of my personal stories. So this is the problem that I had in the past and it's still a problem that I see with other people. And here it is. When we feel like, oh wow, that's an important decision that we have to make. What I had done in the past was, you know, I just sat down, connected with myself and bam, you know, made a decision. But in hindsight, what happened a few times was that even though I knew my intentions were pure, uh, you know, the decision I had to make based on whatever else was happening, whether it was a person or a challenge or something, even though you know someone's intentions are pure, sometimes we can't see or know the bigger picture because we can't always control what's happening in our life. So it's about living our life. It's about enjoying that journey and trusting the process, all right? So if I made a decision 
And then down the road, I was like, yeah, you know what? Now I'm seeing the big picture here. And even if I didn't know what the big picture was at the time, you know, I can look back and I can say, the only person I can be responsible for in this situation is myself. So if I'm getting angry over a decision that I didn't put the time aside to really reflect on, I can't hold anybody else responsible because at the end of the day, I made that decision, all right? So what I decided to do was when I had deep decisions that I wouldn't make a decision right away. So if it was possible, I asked, can I wait? Is there a timeline? Is, you know, whatever, what needs to be done? And what I found was that when I would sit with myself in meditation and just pondering the question, for me, it's not knowing all of it, all right? But what I do know is that when my intuition is telling me something where it feels like a right red flag or it feels like something may not be right for me right now, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know all the answers, the connections, what everybody's intentions are, whatever. That deep sense of trust that I have by connecting to myself is what's guiding me. So in a situation like this, this is where we're going to get advice from spirit on the two card draw. And so this is what I found was that I didn't need to know everything in order to make the decision. And I feel much stronger and I feel much more powerful and kind of in my own space, like in my own light, in my own zone, and just trusting what it is that I hear. And it just could be a simple answer. And that's the only simple answer that I need to give back based on that business decision. Okay. So with spirit, we've asked the same question about what some advice can I have for this and for anybody else who feels the same way about making decisions. So the first card we got, actually, here we go, from Colette Baron reads deck, is this year I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Got to get this right, okay? She's Canadian. Yes, I love her. Um, so the first card I got as the challenge was happy, happy, but in the upside down card. So this is actually read differently. It's called a challenge position. So this is the advice spirit is giving first in the action step to take actually came up in the natural position, seeing a change in the wind, okay? So here's the challenge, here's the advice. So what Spirit is telling me, based on the energy and the message from this card, is if it was this way, it'd be like, yep, yeah, everything's good, everything's good, don't worry about that decision. But when it comes upside down, reading this card is about looking up here, it's about the pee hole, the key. The key is to just trust that intuition and be light, be happy, pull in the energy of joy, of happiness, because it's not you don't want to weigh yourself down needing to know all the pieces of the puzzle because this need to know is what weighs us down. Oh, did I do this? Did I do that right? No. If you've sat in contemplation and you keep getting the same message over and over and you don't necessarily know why and you don't know the whole picture, it's all okay. It's part of the journey of life. Okay. So be happy, you know, just let it go. Just let it go and enjoy with what your decision is. And the second card that came up is a change in the wind. So what this card actually represents as well is you don't need to know everything. There's going to be some pieces that you're going to know. You're going to just let it flow. You're just going to let the experience flow through you and enjoy it because down the road, everything's going to make sense. So there's a journey here and just trusting that the journey and the change in the way you're responding to these deep questions is part of your being. It's a part of your soul. It's a part of your lesson, you know, to not worry so much, to not have so much anxiety, to just enjoy your life. And on a personal note, that is when in a lot of parts of my life where I didn't actually always need to know, like there was just, I would just get this hit. It was like, I don't know why I need to say this. I don't know why I need to do this, but I'm just going to do it. So in business, you may not know all those details. Just run with it. Build this muscle. Build this connection with yourself. Spend more time with yourself. Don't do it on the fly. Don't make your decisions out of fear. Just trust the process and learn to trust yourself.
okay? So again, I'd like to offer uh, three essential oils uh, to help people on an emotional level on how they can start using essential oils if they are CPTG grade, which again, if they are a high level of essential oil, when they get into our bloodstream, they actually get into different organs, they get into our brain, and it, it empowers us because it can shift the energy. So if you wanted, if you had too much fear and you were worrying too much about letting a big decision weigh you down, then the three essential oils that I would recommend to help you shift that energy into that sense of joy, like they, they asked for in this card, and happiness would be one such as wild orange. So wild orange really, really is so refreshing. It's a, a natural antidepressant. It's um, amazing. It brings in that essence of abundance and and joy and then ylang ylang would be another amazing essential oil to use in this time because ylang ylang is kind of like it's free it's like flowing it's like you know kind of like what this woman looks like here in this card it's like la la la, la just let it go just you know what let it happen and trust the process and then the other essential oil I would recommend is bergamot. And the reason why bergamot is because bergamot is that energy to self-empowerment essential oil. It's great on the solar plexus. Again, it gives you that confidence and that self-esteem. It's like, boom, you made the right decision without needing to know all the details. All right? Without needing to know all the details. Just trust yourself, okay? And the more often you do this, the more comfortable you're going to be in making that decision because when it plays out, you're going to be like, yeah, okay, my intuition's always been talking to me. I just didn't take the time to really truly listen, okay? So it's a super powerful gift to have and to own it and to inherit enhance it. All right. So what I want to briefly talk about with you guys at the end of this video is if you feel like this is something where you need some practice, um, you know, what can you do to enhance this sense of trusting yourself and trusting yourself, uh, trusting your intuition deeper? I have been running um, different programs in my uh, Tamron's Place membership group. Again, it's geared for entrepreneurs, but even some people that already have a day job or they're doing something part-time or whatever. But for a lot of us, it's like getting ourselves into a rhythm and a routine of using these spiritual and holistic modalities. So I've shared with you some of the holistic stuff about the essential oils, but one of my favorite things to do is to find different types of mini meditations or even mini yoga sequences. And by yoga sequences, I mean something that takes you no more than 10, 12 minutes a day. There's lots of stuff out there. Uh, with being an ex-radio host, I used to do a lot of uh, interviews with people that really focused on intimacy, intimacy of the self, understanding yourself, you know, that spiritual seeker, like questioning why stuff keeps happening to in your life. And really, the answer is always coming back to you. It's like, do you know yourself well enough? And one of the things that I found was this amazing little yoga um, practice that takes, it says seven minutes, but to be honest, uh, it's on YouTube. I, you know, by the time I turn on my TV, I go and do it, get myself into it. It's not hard. It's not like really intense poses or anything. It's just a fluid movement. It connects you with your breath and it opens you to start trusting and to make decisions from the heart and to trust your higher intuition to build that muscle. So I had been doing this off and on for a couple of years. And then last year, around this time, last February or March, I decided my intuition was like, I need to start doing that again. I have no excuse working from home full time now to not put myself into a practice. And I had just come out of a physical injury and I couldn't physically do th something. So it was like, what could I do that can actually help me? So it was like, go do this yoga practice. And again, it's on YouTube. So I started doing this and every single day, my intuition was getting stronger and stronger and I was getting messages every time I did the meditation. So it came to the point where I had to have a little notepad beside me and I would have to stop and I'd have to write it down because I was afraid that what I was hearing, I would forget, right? Because I just, I'm one of these multitaskers, I'm always doing something. But it was slowing myself down enough so I could hear, you know, my most intimate thoughts and connecting to that higher guidance. 
So I started doing it and I kept on doing it and I got messages to, you know, start up my 20 day program again, um, you know, to offer different types of webinars, blah, blah, blah. One thing led to another, one thing led to another. And then last September in 2017, I felt like I could physically do something stronger in my physical body. I felt like, you know what, my injury's over, my knee feels a lot stronger, I think I could do a physical challenge. And so I put it out there. I need to find something that I can do that I'm going to enjoy and to build my physical body so I can start getting the weight off that I had gained in, in the past year. Within an hour, I saw a message on Facebook saying 40 day yoga challenge. And I'm like, you know, I think I could do this. And it was for a dollar for the first two weeks. And then something crazy, ridiculous, like $25 a month. So I decided to join. And in that first week, what I found was the yoga practice that I was doing got me even deeper into my own body. And so I told myself, I'm going to do this 40-day challenge. Because not only was I still doing the 10-minute challenge in the morning, I put aside an hour at the end of my day where I, pra I, I promised myself I was going to do this. And that was when I got even bigger hits about how to really change my business, go deeper. It connected me to other people. My vibrational energy started changing. I found other business groups that were more in alignment with what I really wanted. I was able to shift that. And actually, I have kept going. I haven't stopped. And I'm on something crazy ridiculous like day 100 and 30 or something like that. Again, it's about starting with something that you can do that is manageable because when you want to um, create a stronger sense of your intuition, if what it is that you were doing isn't working, you're going to need to start changing. And in today's world, there is so much out there. There's so much stuff online. So what I like to do is for the new people, the people that really want to start somewhere, is I encourage them to start with the 10 minute yoga challenge. Again, it is super easy to do and I have a lot of fun. So today is February the 20th. So I'm gonna start today. I've got a couple of people that um, in, my, in my personal life that I've been sharing this with them and so they're gonna try it. If you would like to be a part of the 28 day challenge, I'm gonna run it again in 28 days, but I'm gonna start talking about it this month because I guarantee if you write down a goal for yourself, something that what it is that you wanna manifest in that 28 days, I guarantee you're gonna get an intuitive hit about how what it is you need to do, or what it is you need to say, or it might actually appear in your life. So here's the thing. It's part of what we do in my Terrence Place membership. So my basic membership level is only $36 a month. That's it. It's only $36. I've had people in and out of it for a year. We've changed up the structure. We're redoing it. I'm actually using the platform for something else as well. But we're still going with this membership group. And I don't like to have a ton of people in my membership when I'm tweaking and you know, changing things and getting feedback. So this is A, one reason why it's not a lot of money. B, it's a great way for you to connect with me. And every single day, Monday through Friday, I'm in the group like this. It's more personal. It's more intimate. Um, we do group prayers. Uh, we do some coaching in there. We do some storytelling. It's very much what I'm doing here, but it's more intimate, okay? and it's only $36 a month. And in that membership, there are different sponsorship levels, there's different things you can do in your business, so I share that with you once you get in, but um, it's a great place for you to connect with other like-minded individuals, okay? And also, it's a place for you to connect with me more intimately, and I'm not charging you thousands and thousands of dollars like a lot of these other business coaches. It's more like a community. It's a place where you can pop in, and for $36 a month, you don't need to be in the group every single day chatting, liking everybody's posts, whatever. Even if you came in one day during a month period, and you got an aha moment or you got a message from someone or a conversation with someone, 
I think it's worth 36 bucks. Like it is just so cheap. If you wanted to drive somewhere and go to a network meeting, go buy lunch or go buy a drink or go buy a coffee, I think you'd be spending a lot more than $36. And the beauty of it is you do it from your phone, you do it from your home, and it's an opportunity for you to connect with me. So if you feel this resonates with you, please send me a private message. I um, can follow up with you, give you some more information. But the beauty of it is, if you are someone who feels like you want to build this spiritual muscle and connect with yourself as a bonus, okay, for the next month, as we're going to run this this month, the next month, if you join my membership for the 36 days, you get to play in the 28 challenge for free, and there is a prize for the winner. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because if you join the group, then I'll share with you what the prize is. It's going to be a value of about $300 Canadian. But I know, I also know that the gift that you're really going to win or the prize that you're going to have at the end is by you doing the practice and learning how to use this skill in your business life and to enhance that connection with yourself. All right. So that is my gift to you guys. Again, I'm still working it out. I'm still tweaking, but it's a lot of fun. You're going to connect with some other great people in the group. And it's called Tamron's Place Membership, all right? So it's a secret membership group on Facebook. So just quickly before I go, I just want to see who's on here. Okay, we got Daisy on here. She's saying hi. Hi, Daisy, and thank you for joining. I've got some other people who are on here but haven't written a comment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, each week I like to share with you whose tea that I'm drinking. And since I'm just getting back and the weather is a little bit cold here in Northern Ontario, I haven't even grabbed my little owl teacup that I normally have. But today, I have my little teacup that I um, that I picked up when I was traveling out in Saskatchewan last year. And so I'm drinking um, ginger. I've boiled some ginger root down and I've added some pure lemon and some lemon high grade essential oil in there just to like get my body back into balance after traveling and get things moving. All right. Um, so ginger helps to get things moving in your body and it helps with your digestion and lemon is very cleansing and helps with focus and that kind of stuff. So again, time to rebalance my body. So if you enjoyed this, uh, give me a thumbs up, send a message. Again, if you like these videos, please go to my uh, YouTube channel under Tamaron's Place. Hit the subscribe button. You'll see these videos on here. I also do two monthly group meditations group meditations on the full moon and the new moon. So I have webinars that I post on Eventbrite, but when you're a member of my group, I remind you guys of when they are, and we join via Zoom conference. You can invite your friends. It's free, but it's just another way, another opportunity to teach you guys how to start using more of these holistic modalities through group prayer, um, you know, spiritual practices. We go deeper into the essential oils. We talk about journaling. We talk about all kinds of fun stuff, and we do it together on the full moon and the new moon. So it is free in the group. Again, not something you have to pay for. All right. Thanks again. I will see you guys again next week on Tuesday here live at 222. Cheers for now.